I should have done this for my science experiment in junior high. Oh no! Oh no, the camera! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> oh my, oh my god! Dude, what the? Oh, oh, the camera! <laughs> we need a fire extinguisher. Life can come at you fast, and staying high on life can be tough. There are 1,440 minutes in a day, 10,080 minutes in a week, 43,800 minutes in a month, and 525,600 minutes in a year. Making every minute count is a high goal to set. The brain can store 1 million gigabytes of memory, and it only takes one minute to make an epic memory. So make it an epic life. This is the epic simple life. All right, guys. Good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Josh Kohler here with the Epic Simple Life, and thanks you guys for stopping by. Today I got my BFFF Jimmy with me, and he's going to be helping me with a little experiment. I'm excited to show you guys. So what we're going to do is we're taking press. Prestone, is that pronounced Prestone or Press Free? I don't know. Prestone dot three brake fluid and mixing it with HTH Ultimate Mineral Brilliance, aka chlorine. Now, this has been going around YouTube just a little bit and we're gonna try it out on different things. But first things first, the water bottle. So this is the water bottle. It's a good old fashioned ice mountain water bottle. Nothing, nothing special about it, so no, no, no magic tricks or anything. Ice mountain is the best. Yeah, the best. First thing is first is safety. So we have a 12 year old fire extinguisher here, just in case we have to put some green, nasty old fire extinguisher or whatever the heck's in it. Fire department was out here yesterday to fire make sure it's up to code. Yes, fire department is just down the street, so we should be good if this does not work because it's so old. And I mean, look at this thing. It's got it's got dust all over it and everything. I mean, I don't I don't know if I don't know if this might this might be more dangerous to use than actually trying to put the fire out with it. They could just ignite it even more. So guys, we are gonna try this real quick. Um, best of luck to us, and we'll see how this goes. Let's go. Also, for safety reasons, we are both gonna be wearing glasses slash goggles. And um, I can't see crap. <laughs> Jimmy's wearing a really old pair of goggles. Unfortunately, I didn't have another pair of glasses for him. But safety's first, even if it's old, nasty goggles. Fair enough. We would rather have old, nasty goggles on Jimmy as opposed to him losing an eye. So, so what we're going to do is pour in the chlorine first and then the brake fluid. Let's see what happens. Jimmy's gonna pour in the brake fluid. I've been advised to stand back uh, while doing this. Uh, Just go, pour it in. Pull out the. <laughs> Experiment one was a complete success. Oh. Experiment two on the way. That smells awful. That's that was crazy. All right, so here's the remnants of the water bottle. You saw it was a good old fashioned ice mountain, and now it's just nothing. 
Cash's and if you guys could smell it through the camera, it actually smells like a pool. Oh, worse than a pool. Worse than a pool. If you lit a pool on fire and added... <laughs> I don't know what... Guys, check this out. We have... This is the water bottle that we put that stuff... Look at that. Look, you can see there's the chlorine the right there. And there's the cap. It's insane. Experiment two. It's going to be this paint can. It might contain the the fire. If not, we definitely have the water hose to um, extinguish whatever is going on. If, if, if all hell breaks loose. So we got this. We'll see how it goes. You're like stranded out in the wilderness, and you, you terrorists you, come around. And you're you're you're, you're cold outside. As long as you got chlorine and brake fluid packed in your backpack, you'll be good because you'll be able to make fire. That's what we all. I think have. that's the yeah. I think that's the conclusion that we came to. All right. So Christmas came early this year. We're actually going to do a bonus experiment, which is going to be this candy cane. And don't ask how we're going to do this, but mm -hmm. it might have something to do with putting it in this end. And in this end. And then now the other. We're gonna wing it. The candy cane experiment was pretty cool. It did kind of what we were expecting, and it just shot up. I mean, if we were stranded on an island and we needed SOS, that would have been perfect. But experiment number 3.1, right? We did a bonus. Oh, see. This is going to be an even bigger paint can. How big is that, Jimmy? Oh, well, this is definitely about approximate oh, approximation. Definitely a gallon. Definitely a gallon. Definitely a gallon. Maybe two. Maybe six. Paint can. I don't know if it's sick. on this show so we're gonna do another one. Oh, nice. 
far. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, my camera! No fire again? Dang, that's a lot. Of oh, it's coming out the bottom. Shoot. So, from our expertise, we discovered that chlorine mixed with brake fluid is gonna make it smoke and then sometimes light fire. Yep. So, you got about a 50 50 chance. We tried it four times. So, two of the times I lit. The, the two of the times of lit, so that gave us the 50-50 chance of um, our calculations. So, um, do you have any any further assessment of um, of the uh, of the verdict? Just be careful. Safety first. Make sure you wear old, nasty goggles, yeah. and you have a 12-year-old um, fire extinguisher. Yep. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you subscribe. And give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. And Jimmy's got two thumbs up, so that means you definitely have to give a thumbs up. And share my content. Make sure you sign up for the giveaway below, the Bean Boozled giveaway. If you didn't see that video, make sure you check that out because it was a lot of fun. Very nasty, but a lot of fun still. Um, so make sure you check out that link below. Also, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter because I post a lot of behind-the-scenes things. Yep. And I think that's it. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. And I'll see you on the next one. Rest in peace, Boba.